Oh good, you guys are here. Okay, so I've been wanting to play this game with you guys since like before my grandpa was born. It's a game called charades. This is how it works. I'm gonna act something out with no words or sounds and you have to guess what it is I'm doing. Do you guys wanna play? Like, do you guys wanna play? You do? <laughs> awesome. But first, turn in your Bibles to the book of Acts and get ready to discover that we should always be ready to tell others about Jesus. I'm Joel, this is Explore the Bible on Location, and it's time for charades number one. You guys see that? You see what I'm doing? Exactly, I'm saying goodbye. You guys are good. See you inside. That's cool. Oh, all right. It's time for charades. You guys ready? All right. You got to guess what I'm being. Yeah, I'm a monkey. Okay, what about this one? I'm driving a car. All right, you guys are good. This next one will be easy. You guys ready? You guys know what it was? Come on guys, it was the story of creation and the fall and then Jesus coming and preaching and dying on the cross for our sins and then rising again. <laughs> okay, maybe I need some practice, all right? Maybe I'm not good at charades. Maybe I'm just better at speaking words, but here's what I want you to know. You were created on purpose for purpose. So whatever you're good at, you might be good at charades, you might be good at speaking words, you might be good at drawing pictures or using sign language or writing poetry. Whatever God has gifted you to do, ask him and he will help to use you to share the gospel in the way that he leads. Let me show you what I mean. This is Philip. He served the early church by distributing money to the believers so they could buy the things they needed. When Saul began persecuting the church in Jerusalem, Philip went to a city in Samaria and told everyone about the good news of Jesus. Lots of Samaritans believed and were baptized. Then Philip was told to go to a deserted place near the city of Gaza. There he found an Ethiopian government official on his way from Jerusalem back to Ethiopia. Philip heard the man reading from Isaiah and asked if the man needed help understanding the meaning of the book. Philip got up into the chariot and proclaimed the good news about Jesus to the official. The Ethiopian official believed and was baptized. Alrighty, my peoples, we are here with Gordon. Gordon, say hello to my peoples. Hey there. Thanks so much for letting us visit today. Tell us about how the International Mission Board got started. Hey, well, almost 175 years ago, some preachers and some church members got together to have a talk. and They wanted to know, how can we get the gospel to the people in the world who've never heard it before? And as they talked about it, they said, you know what? If we work together, rather than just trying to do it by ourselves, we could do a whole lot more. And so that's how the International Mission Board was started. What does the IMB do? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked me that. The International Mission Board is here to help your churches send their missionaries all over the world. And missionaries can have lots of different jobs around the world. Tell us about oh, that. Oh, that's a great question because actually missionaries do tons of stuff. And if you think about something that you're interested in, chances are you can do that very thing somewhere in the world. We have people who are nurses. We have teachers. We have people who are business people. There are so many tons of ways you can be involved in missions overseas. I know that IMB does a lot of work, and for a very long time, why do all of that work? Well, I'll tell you, this is probably the most important question I can answer for you, and that is, we believe that if people don't know Jesus, they're not going to get to go to heaven. And that's such an important message for us that we feel like 
The best thing we can do with our life is to tell others about Jesus so they can hear this good news. You know, if you've got good news, it's too good to keep it to yourself. And so our people go all over the world to share this good news with people who've never heard it before. How can those who are watching get involved with missions? They might be thinking, well, I want to be involved with missions, but I'm just a kid. What can they do? Oh, I'll tell you what. One of the first things I'd say to you is make sure that you yourself know Jesus and then tell others about Him. So if you talk to your friends about Jesus, that's a way you're helping us. But another thing you can do is when you get your allowance, you tell mom and dad, I want to give some of this at the church so that I can help support missionaries on the mission field. And then you can also pray for our missionaries. I would say maybe one of the greatest things you can do to help us is if you would pray every night before you go to bed, ask Jesus to help our missionaries as they're telling other people about Him. So you don't have to wait until you get older. You can be involved in missions right now. That's exactly right. Well, thank you, Gordon, so much for letting us visit today. This has been awesome. Oh, thanks a lot. It's been good to be with you. Philip went to Samaria and to the Gaza Desert to tell people about Jesus. Peter went to Cornelius' house to tell him and his family about Jesus. Paul went to Antioch, Philippi, and many other cities to tell people about Jesus. Like Philip, Peter, and Paul, we should tell others about Jesus. Why? Because the gospel is the power to save those who believe. Whoa. You see all these folders? These folders represent people who've committed their lives to doing what Jesus said, to getting the good news to everyone everywhere. You know, you don't have to go to a far country to get the good news to someone. Pretty much all of us every day are gonna meet someone who needs to hear the wonderful news about Jesus. This is amazing. Okay, what am I doing now? Yes, I'm brushing my teeth. Okay, how about this one? I'm reading a book. You guys are good. Charades is such a fun game. I want you guys to think of the things you like to do for fun and the people you like to do them with. Now, ask God for his help to share the gospel with others. Tell those people the good news about Jesus Christ. That's what it means to live on mission. And that's what we discover when we dig into the book of Acts. I'm Joel, this is Explore the Bible on Location, and it's time for our final round of charades. Come on, I'm eating a delicious burrito. And a burrito sounds extra delicious right now. I'm gonna go get one. So until next time, excuse me, sir. Can you lead me to the nearest burrito?